I, I know you've been shorting Europe in equities on this. Um, what do you need to see before you get back in? I mean, we are seeing gains this morning. Yeah, I think uh, it's going to be sentiment driven for the short term, but I don't think there's any conclusion happening today. The fact that they're withdrawing troops that were only in Russia from military exercises isn't a withdrawal from the, the Crimea region. And I think that's what you'll need to see to see an end to this. Or you'll need to see some sort of diplomatic agreement where it becomes part of uh, Russia. And neither one of those things are going to happen without mm -hmm. a, a lot of angst. So, so you're going to continue shorting European equities? I think the, the likely outcome is uh, Russia won't back down and there'll probably have to be f sanctions of some p sort put on them. And that's going to push energy prices higher. Economic growth in Europe is almost non-existent. And the higher energy prices and sanctions on Russia, I think, could just choke that off. So I think European equities are vulnerable to this. OK, what, 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 I guess my question is, what, what, do you, what are you watching out for before you get back in? Well, big sell-offs. Um, we actually shorted on yesterday morning and uh, covered half the shorts in the afternoon as markets really tanked. It rallied a bit and uh, likely be shorting when I get back into the office in a few minutes. I think at the euro stocks hits 3,100. That's a good level to short at. It's just that you've had years and years where economic growth hasn't been there, but equities have rallied on the, the hope that uh, central banks would engineer some economic growth. It, it's not even there yet. So I think there has to be a, a bit of a catch up where you see economic growth before equities can get a, a big tailwind behind them. Um, how, how brave do you need to be to get back into the Russian market now? I mean, we were off, what, 12 percent since the start of the year, 50 um, percent if we look uh, if we look further out. Yeah, sure, surely there's some pretty cheap deals out there. Yeah, it's, uh, well, it's the cheapest market in the world. It's probably the only market that's read a, it's at a five-year low pretty much, I think, on yesterday. So yep. it's uh, definitely one of the cheapest markets, but there's a lot of reasons. Uh, corporate governance issues are a huge risk in Russia, the potential for sanctions, Gazprom being a huge company if uh, it's not allowed to export its gas. That's not happening right now, but things like that. There, there's still a lot of risks with Russia. Incredibly cheap. If you want to be a contrarian and stick with it, it's probably value assuming there is some form of corporate governance and stated over the years to come. But, but that is a big you're, question. You're not making that play? No, I'm not making that play at all, no.